The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's full. And it's full. The WWE United States Championship. Like something like straight something out of a comic, comic, book. comic book. Here comes, Here comes Axiom. Axiom. The mask. Hero. Hero. WWE. 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 Count out last week, the leader of the final gentlemen, test match, the United the States grain champion, of sand the sand in the Aztec has fallen. fallen. We are about to see the scene from the week. Bobby Lashley and, and the ambulance matchup is two weeks back. Thomas Carey, all of the momentum he can muster heading into that ambulance matchup against the Almighty Bobby Lashley will be taking on one half of the final testament in the AOP of Rakeham. Cross looking to make sure Axiom falls in prey here tonight on SmackDown. Will Ashley make it to SummerSlam as the United States Champion? Final Testament certainly has his hands full and cannot afford to overlook the much smaller Axiom here in this United States Championship matchup to kick off Friday Night Smackdown here tonight. I remember just two weeks away from the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, where we see Karrion Cross take on Lashley in an ambulance matchup. But that matchup may not happen if Cross is not able to survive Axiom. But Axiom cannot win the United States Championship. By count out, oh, only way to win is by pinfall or submission. Carrying across like a wild bear, right on the attack of Axiom as soon as the bell rings. Cross line. Vicious cross line there. Irish whip off the ropes, goes Axiom. And the Harbinger of Doom carrying across. Oh, looking to make Axiom pay from the embarrassment last week. Remember, cross attack Bobby Lashley. During his matchup against Solo Sokoa last week, costing Lashley his one-on-one -on -one matchup. And we saw the Authors of Pain take out the Street Profits. And this rivalry between the oh, final testament and the pride has really been getting out of hand. Cross now, oh, he elbows right to the back of the head. Axiom rolling off to the outside, but I don't think that's going to save him here. And the United States champion has him set up. Oh! Oh! Viciousness being shown here on the outside of the ring at the hands 
of carry across the harbinger of doom with another exploder suplex on the outside. Down to seven. Cross back inside of the ring with Axiom and continuing to punish his opponent here tonight. And oh, the challenger for the United States champion. They regret accepting this challenge. Uh, Axiom starting to fight back here. Fight back into this matchup. For how long can he keep it up? Oh, not so long. Oh. This is what happens when you piss off the leader of the final testament. Oh. Elbows right to the face. Actually, I'm kipping back up to his feet somehow. Oh, no, no, no. Power bomb. Oh, big boot missed that time. Oh! Axiom missing that time. And Cross and Axiom trading shots. And Axiom showing Cross that, oh, he is not a pushover here tonight. Oh, and popping the jaw of the United States champion. Cross missed that time. Oh! And the Harbinger of Doom with a hard shot right to the face. Pump handle position. Oh! And the United States champion not done yet. Beating down on his opponent here tonight. There's no surviving someone like carrying across. Ref, get the hell out of the way. Oh, you heard that chop there by Axiom. And the challenger sends the United States champion off the ropes. Up over the head. And oh, a fall away moonsault. Into a cover on Karrion Cross. Two, and Axiom, oh. Was a split second away from becoming a new United States champion. Cross, oh, sends him into the corner. Oh, big boot right to the face. Second row goes action. Whoa! That put this to a satellite DDT. But the official gets taken out as well. The official taken out of action. And L O. Carrying across sends him into the turnbuckle. Well, Axiom able to counter out. Scarlett with a distraction here, helping out Karrion Cross as the United States champion starts to stir back up to his feet, and oh, so does the official. Scarlett paying dividends here for her man. Irish slip into the corner, and Cross, oh, the hard clothesline. Back elbow and forearm right to the face. Tip top. Doomsday Saido suplex. Oh, cross now. Looking for that cross hammer. Pow! And that could be Bobby Lashley's fate at SummerSlam in that ambulance match. Carrying cross not done yet. Looking for that final prayer. Final prayer countered. Soaring into the arm drag. Spectacular Oh! Axiom catches him with the golden ratio kick. Cover. One and Cross able to kick out. Cross able to kick out at one. Oh, the anger. Oh, Bolton out of the United States champion. Cross looking like he has had enough. Oh, the challenger. Now up on the apron. Still not a safe place to be. Oh, with the likes of carrying Cross. 
Ross looking to put this matchup away. And the leader of the final testament says it's time for the final prayer. Come on, ref, turn back around. Oh my god. I hate this damn AI. Three and Cross gets the win. They keep taking off the turnbuckle. Like no stop. Now let's take another look at these guys in action. Final prayer for the victory. So nice we show it to you twice. Here is your winner. And a sick smirk onto the face of the United States champion carrying cross. As in two weeks, he'll defend that championship against the almighty Bobby Lashley. And an ambulance matchup. What a matchup that is shaping up to be between Lashley and Cross in an ambulance matchup at SummerSlam. And still, we got our next matchup here tonight after AJ Styles put LA Knight through a table two weeks ago on SmackDown. The Megastar wants his revenge on the Phenomenal One, and he attends on getting it up next here in this matchup. I honestly didn't even know I put the video in HD. It's probably going to drop the frame rate. I'm not 100% sure, but I hope not. But I know it seems to always start dropping the frame rates when the cutscene starts. So I don't think the game could hold up with this frame rate for some weird reason. LA Knight, AJ Styles, one-on-one. -on -one. And here comes the Megastar. Yeah. Oh, a double, yeah. And here we go. LA Knight right on AJ Styles. And the official trying to separate him. Oh, pushing up the official out of the way. And the Megastar stomping on, L on AJ Styles. Yeah. Oh, the official calling for the bell. Referee throwing this match out. So much for playing. Uh, LA Knight's not done yet. The Mega Star Wars looking for revenge. Yes, it was effective. AJ Styles defeated LA Knight a few weeks ago here on SmackDown and attempted to put him through the announce table after the matchup. Styles springboard on a phenomenal forearm. And the referee has already thrown this matchup. This matchup is no longer continuing. And oh, these two men says S that. As we got a brawl on our hands between LA Knight and AJ Styles. AJ right to the knee and oh! Look at oh! On the road to SummerSlam and oh! We're like going to fast track the highway to hell. L.A. Knight now sending A.J. Styles off the apron. Now to the outside. L.A. Knight face first off the ring post goes A.J. L.A. Knight is beating the hell out of A.J. Styles here tonight on SmackDown. Payback, but it felt so good for the Megastar. Big boot right to the face by the former World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, this is my Maraj guy move. Oh, yeah. And AJ might have to adjust those big Yeah. After taking that hit. LA Knight has not slowing up on his attack on LA on AJ Styles. Oh. It looks like the SmackDown GM Nick Almas is gonna let them have at it here tonight. To the outside. Oh, he's got a microphone in hand. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, and blasting AJ Styles over the head with that microphone. It's LA Knight. Let him talk to you. Oh, AJ Styles fight them all. Oh, swoop slam. This is scoop slam on the outside. Now, oh. Close line. And this crowd chanting for LA Knight. AJ Styles dumps him over to the outside. Heads out and he has all, all, the, all the time he wants. Oh, DDT on the floor. Styles knows what this crowd came to see, and he's hell bent. Another DDT by Styles. DDT connects. Connects. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Oh. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Fishing for something beneath the ring. LA Knight with a steel chair. LA Knight telling AJ Styles he got all day. Taking it outside the ring now. And the megastar from off the announce table. When you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. It's over. What the hell? I guess LA Knight wins this showdown by tossing AJ Styles to the table. I don't know what the hell that was about, but okay, AJ Styles and LA Knight matchup being thrown out, and hopefully SmackDown GM can get this resolved before it gets even worse between these two. But up next, Triple Threat Tornado Tag Team matchup, a future tag team championship opportunity hangs in the balance for one of these three teams here tonight as Pete Dunne and Tyler Bates, the new Catch Republic, takes on Pretty Deadly and Los Lotharios and still to come no disqualification matchup between Bailey and Oscar as Bailey looks to exterminate damage control one by one until she gets her hands on EO Sky at SummerSlam and Santos Escobar taking on Santos Escobar now nah, I'm just kidding Santos versus Joaquin Wilde his former protege his former friend former tag team partner will be teaming will be going one-on-one -on -one with one another here tonight and of course Santos Escobar will take on Rey Mysterio at SummerSlam. And we got our next matchup here. Triple threat action. Here on SmackDown.
WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. You see the new Catch Republic make their way to the ring for this triple threat tornado tag team matchup. Yes, the most extravagant, flamboyant, and tastiest team in all of WWE. Pretty there is Elton arrived. Prince and Kent Wilson, a pretty deadly. Making some huge waves for themselves here in the tag team division. Looking to continue moving strong here on SmackDown. Looking to earn an opportunity at the tag team championships in the near future. Whether that be AOP or the Street Profits. Sadly, Roman Reigns is not here tonight. Our Tribal Chief is not here tonight, but he'll be watching very closely in our main event. As Randy Orton will take on Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso in a two-on-one handicap matchup in our main event. Gato Del Fantasma, Angel Garza, and Alberto Del Rio. I'm on Alberto Del Rio. I'm going to call him Del Rio. Whoops. Suffering a tag team loss last week to the Street Profits. Looking to get back on the winning side here tonight. Threat tag team matchup. Here we go. And oh, first team to gain pinfall or submission wins this matchup here tonight. And oh, earns an opportunity at the tag team championships. A oh, backbreaker there. Snap suplex. Into girl flying Hera Karana from Herberto Carrillo. Up and over to the outside he goes. Look at the hard chops there. And oh, threw the kendo stick right at his opponent from Tyler Bates. Bates just launching that kendo stick at him. And oh, Destroyer connects there. On a new catch with Public O, oh, working together very well here in this tag team matchup as they seem to be in control. All spring back, elbow! Drop kick right to the back and a kick right to the face as the lethal lovers are in control of this tag team matchup. And oh, backstabber from behind by Pete Dunn. Uh-oh. Oh, power bomb on the floor. Oh, back first onto the apron goes Tyler Bates. 
Flying Heracorana. Oh, from behind. Arm drag from Humberto Carrillo. Back inside of the ring. Oh, and a boot to the face. Oh, clothesline missed. Heracorana. Tyler Bates with a kendo stick in hand. And Bates. Paul Heyman is not here either. He is on the island of relevancy alongside his tribal chief. And flying European uppercut. Oh, flapjack. Oh, Pete Dunn just got that kendo stick tossed right at him. Springboard drop kick. On the big strong boy, Tyler Bates with the German suplex cover, but no. Oh, missed that time. Oh, snaps Dragon Suplex. Oh, caught the foot. Angel Garza. Oh, fires in an elbow. Yo, Tyler Bates supposed to help your partner. Oh, and a baseball bat. We got somebody bleeding on the outside. I think it's Humberto Carrillo. Yeah. Oh, oh, right to the arm. Now the bruiser weight. Beating down. A one half. A legato del fantasma. Top rope. And that knee drop. One. Two. And almost had him there. Toss the steel chair, but none to no avail. Elbow drop. Oh, snap jagging German suplex. Oh, Pete Dunn finds his way out and oh. Tosses him back inside of the ring. And the oh! Oh, it covered right here on him. And oh, breaks up the pin. And oh! Oh, and the lethal lovers all. Oh. Trying to stab in. Oh, arm breaker right onto the baseball bat. Oh. Elton Prince taken out there. And the bruiser weight suplex into a power bomb. Oh! The kick that was. Oh, X-Plex! It's a gravity to the back of the head. I'll cover, but no. Uh-oh. Here comes the better end. I should say bitter end. Ref gonna take years to make this count. Oh, he kicked out. Oh. He's gonna try to put him away once and for all. Suicide dive attempt. Tyler Bates. Suicide dive. Bitter in. One. Two. Three and the new catch Republic wins.
Pete Dunn and Tyler Bates pick up the win. And they have earned a future tag team championship matchup either against AOP or the Street Profits. Whoever walks out of that steel cage matchup next week for the tag team championships will meet the new Catch Republic. Congratulations to the new Catch Republic on the win here tonight on SmackDown. They have earned their opportunity at the Tag Team Championships. But up next, Bailey meets a formidable foe in the Empress of Tomorrow, Oscar. One half of damage control looks to put down Bailey here tonight. And also Santos Escobar set to go one-on-one -on -one with Joaquin Wilde, his former tag team partner here tonight. And Braun Breaker back here in action on Friday Night SmackDown as Breaker set to go one-on-one -on -one with Ridge the Fridge Hollins here tonight as these two powerhouses look to tear down the ringside. And Bobby Lashley goes one-on-one -on -one with Akum looking to get some revenge for the Street Profits that they was assaulted last week after their matchup by the AOP. And Kevin Owens goes one-on-one -on -one with the arrogant Aussie Grayson Waller as Kevin Owens will take on Logan Paul at SummerSlam. And his first one-on-one -on -one matchup. And then our main event, Randy Orton, who will take on Roman Reigns at SummerSlam for the Undisputed Universal Championship, will have to go through the bloodline. And this was a matchup that Randy Orton requested as Orton wanted this matchup as he wants to put down the bloodline or the rest of the bloodline before he zeroes in on the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. Not a bad idea. Uh, but up next, Bailey and Asuka, no disqualifications, one-on-one. -on -one. Can Bailey put down one member of damage control at a time? She put down Dakota Kai last week. Now she turns her focus over to the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. The number one contender for the women's championship, the role model Bailey, all on her own now, no damage control after she had a back turned on her by EO Sky a few weeks ago here on SmackDown. Oscar looking to put the final nails in the coffin for the role model Bailey as the Grand Slam champion set for this no disqualification matchup. That she's only going to get even. Well 
Arkham, the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka's One half of the women's tag team champions. Said she wants to get even with EO Sky by taking out damage control and taking the championship away from EO Sky at SummerSlam. Bailey wants to make an example of this woman. She needs to do everything she can to stop that. She needs to be the absolute best version of herself. Asuka and Bailey, a real life rivalry all dates all the way back to NXT. Asuka's first NXT All Women's Championship win was against Asuka. I mean, was against Bailey back in 2015. I say 2016, I believe. Yeah, 2016, and Bailey has not forgotten about that. Looking to get some revenge all on damage control. Took out Dakota Kai last week. Now trying to take out Asuka here tonight. And Oscar all sending her into the barricade. Calling Bailey intelligent, Saxton, but there's no denying that these two just don't see eye to eye. And tonight we get the pleasure. Oh, and a guitar in hand, and oh, Bailey dives right at her, making sure that guitar does not get used. Oh, needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Oh, Bailey puts on the outside of the Empress. Oh, Oscar back up on her feet, and that guitar right upside of the head. Blasting the brains of her opponent. Trash can in hand. And the role model taking out the trash here tonight. Waiting for Oscar to get back up to her feet. Trash can in hand. Anything goes here in this matchup. And Oscar looking for a drop kick. And got nailed with the trash can. Oscar getting that chair out of the hands of Bailey. Knee right to the face. Oh, come on, Cole. It's not about being sadistic. It's about being smart. There's no safety net in a no disqualification match, and that's a big factor in succeeding. Under the ring yet again. And Oscar with yet another guitar. And oh, Bailey getting the guitar out of the hands. A great job playing possum there. And back on the outside. Front face bulldog right on that steel chair. Right onto the chair. Oh, but Bailey able to reverse her way out of that one. Oh. Oh, EO Sky with the steel chair to the back of the head. Scrambling the brains of her opponent. Evil thoughts here in this matchup for Bailey. Bailey Plax. And Asuka getting stopped after that attack. That's the sort of offense that makes Bailey so dangerous. And now she's getting back into the ring. Oh, bringing some weapons inside of the ring here in this no holds barred matchup. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Still chair in hand. Oh, not going to get to use that steel chair right there, but no, Oscar, oh, gets the counter and gets out of the way now, unloading on Bailey. Bailey, oh, tossing Oscar to the outside, throwing the guitar right at her, oh, and the guitar shattering. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. Oscar being forced to be back inside of the ring. And Bailey, oh, ramming a steel chair right at Oscar. Oh, and Chandler and her inner Sabu 
tossing that steel chair into the face. Oh, oh! Good night, Bailey. I mean, Oscar. And Oscar, no shoulders up. Forearm shot right to the face. And the Empress of Tomorrow with a spinning heel kick to the face. I'll kick to the midsection by Oscar. Off the ropes. Flying hip attack. Cover on Bailey for the victory here. There's no disqualification matchup. No. Oscar now dragging Bailey. Ain't no telling what she's got planned for the role model, the former leader of damage control. Still has it written on her attire. Oh, that's how much damage control mean, meant to her. It was EO Sky. And I'm taking that all away. Uh, Oscar now looking to put her to sleep. Just like she did for the NXT championship. Oscar Lock locked in. Oscar Lock locked in here. Bailey O oh, showing enough fight. Able to escape there. And the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship fights her way back. Oh. Missed that time. Oh. Bailey making sure of it. She has no idea where she is right now. Iris whip onto the top turnbuckle, but no. Look at this press from Bailey. Oh. Oh, Japanese arm drag. Iris whip into the corner and right against that table. Uh-oh. Doesn't like a nice place that Oscar wants to be in. And Bailey puts her right through the table. Bailey put an Oscar right through the table. Tossing the chair right back into the face. Oscar trying to roll up out of the way. I don't know how the hell she missed it there. Oh, but caught it that time. And the Empress, though, gets that chair thrown right in her face. Oh. Oh. Bailey to Bailey right on a steel chair. Putting down Oscar. Cover right here. Two. And oh, this no holds bar matchup continues. Both competitors digging into wells that didn't even know existed. Momentum's with Bailey now. Bailey showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Oh, Bailey has second thoughts there and leaves a steel chair but changes her mind. For a rose plant. One, two, and no, Oscar kicks out. Irish whip off the ropes. Snap German suplex by Oscar. You can feel it. The place is rocking. Bailey has to be hurt here. Oh, uh, Oscar lock locked in. Bailey locked in the Oscar lock. And the role model perhaps with nowhere to go. 
into a nicer person. And, oh no, Bailey escapes. Bailey escapes out of the Oscar lock. On the role model, changing up her plans here. And it's no host bar match. Double axe handle. Tossed inside of the ring. He's going for that steel chair. Bailey trying to stop her. Oscar with a knee right to the face. Elbow. Oh, the suplex there. On another one. Oh. Two in a row for her troubles. Top rope goes the role model, Bailey. Oh, Bailey, oh, what a centaur bomb. Top rope for the win. And a kick out at two. Uh-oh, Asuka in trouble as Bailey has enough of her hair. What another rose plant. Two, three. Bailey defeats the Empress. That had to be one of the matches of the year. Let's take another look at some of the action. Bailey to Bailey onto the steel chair. Bailey showing out her vicious side here tonight. And this no holds bar matchup. You gotta give it to Bailey here tonight. And she is certainly ready for EO Sky and that women's championship matchup at SummerSlam. Sticking it to damage control yet again. Uh, up next. The Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar, goes one-on-one -on -one with Joaquin Wilde, one half of LWO. Santos Escobar looking to pick up a win and some momentum and take down LWO before SummerSlam when he looks to eliminate LWO for good by taking out Rey Mysterio. Oh, Rey Mysterio attacking Santos Escobar once more. And here we go with this rivalry between these two men. Oh, Escobar said some foul things about Mysterio's career, his knee injury, and his family. And Mysterio not letting that slide. Joaquin Wilde getting a bit of an assist here. And Joaquin Wilde all flying up and over to the outside. Suicide plunger. Taking out Santos Escobar. And oh! Escobar. Trying to scurry away. All got caught. A arm drag! Santos Escobar trying to get away. Oh, suicide dive missed there. And oh, Joaquin Wilde. 
Got a little bit beside himself. And Santos Escobar able to get away and making him pay for it there. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Comes back inside of the ring. And the Emperor of Lucha Libre taking advantage of the miscue. Rey Mysterio jumping Santos Escobar from behind. Oh! Before he can even get to the ring. As those two men will meet at SummerSlam in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Santos with a German suplex. And the knee right to the face to his former tag team partner, former friend. To oh, came into WWE together under the umbrella of Legado Del Fantasma. But Santos Escobar feels like Joaquin Wilde and oh, has betrayed him alongside Cruz Del Toro for the better part of Rey Mysterio and the LWO. And now Santos Escobar taking out weeks of frustration. Showing absolute control of the situation. Uh, stomping away. Look at this, just what a barrage of stomps. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Listen, when you know it's no respect for your opponent when you're in there, uh -oh. stomping on him like that. Great counter. Oh, nice counter there. Now, can it be oh, on? Poison Rana. Nasty landing there for Wild. Cover on him. And the shoulder up. And the Emperor of Lucha Libre showboating him. While Joaquin Wild kicks back up to his feet. Through neck breaker. Oh. And then an upsetting loss for Santos Escobar. Oh. Nasty tilt the world head scissors there from Joaquin Wilde, who heads up to the top rope. And looking to change his fortunes here in this matchup. Cannonball missed. Cannonball missed badly. A counter. Oh. Missed there. German suplex. Oh, and the knee right to the face. Could have given his opponent a concussion. And Santos Escobar with a Heracorana. Oh, and a clothesline. Oh, man, the Emperor of Lucha Libre headed up to the top rope. Frog splash! Just like Rey Mysterio. One, two... Kick out from Joaquin Wild. Close to it all there. He was elusive there. Oh, close line. And a second. Caught the leg. Trips him down. Sweeping the leg. Things are looking up. That should do it right there. Looking for a pin. But no. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point. Oh, Santos Escobar oh, man, he feeling is electric here. Right now. Oh, super kick missed. Oh, an elbow right to the face. And all oh, these two former friends all in a slugfest now. And Santos Escobar wins that battle with a chop. Oh, counters right back, chop to the chest. And it's a good right to the back of the head by Santos Escobar. And the Emperor of Lucha Libre has him set up onto the shoulders. Oh! Phantom Driver. Phantom Driver, but he's not done yet. Oh, now carrying Joaquin Wild around the ring. And Phantom Driver right in the center of the ring. Message sent to Mysterio. Two. Three. 
Uh-oh. Santos Escobar making his way up to the stage. And this LWO and Legado Del Fantasma rivalry is reaching a new boiling point here. Mysterio's holding his ground. Not going anywhere. Here comes Escobar. Assuming so, here we go. Escobar rocking it off first. And Mysterio and Santos trading blows. Not willing to wait for SummerSlam. And the officials and police and security separating these two men. But Mysterio right back on the attack. Legato Del Fantasma, LWO, SmackDown. Just seems too small for these two factions. Something has to give come SummerSlam. It's more chaotic than that here tonight on SmackDown. But up next, Braun Breaker, the badass, back here on Friday Night SmackDown, looking to go one-on-one -on -one with Ridge Hollins. Breaker looking to make it another impressive victory. His first win on SmackDown was a few weeks ago. Then he picked up one over Kevin Owens, looking to pick up another one and keep the ball rolling as the former NXT champion.
This is one intimidating superstar. I agree with you, Saxton. I pity those who pick a fight with Braun Breaker. His opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun There's the dog face gremlin, Braun Breaker, set for action here as he makes his way to the ring. Breaker showing who the real powerhouse is in the early stages of this matchup. Belly to belly suplex there. And you can't take the straps down for custom attires, which is so whack. Like, I understand custom superstars, but I can't take the straps down on a custom character. I mean, a custom attire? That's some bullshit. His evolution as a superstar. Oh, Rich Holland. Oh, he's in Braun Breaker. <laughs> I honestly can't Power being shown I now for Rich Holland. Like and Braun Breaker needs to get back in the game here. Oh, flipping the script out of oh, and a former NXT champion, though, fights his way out of the corner into a impressive shoulder tackle. Corey, at the risk of sounding indelicate. Oh, Braun Breaker oh, with a German Breaker. suplex. That was the same he suplex he used to put for, Kevin Owens through the barricade a few weeks ago here on SmackDown. Insane, and Braun Breaker was a hired gun from Logan Paul to take down Kevin Owens. Oh! Standing moonsault, cover one. Someone like Braun Breaker, oh, should not be able to fly around the ring his size. You seen the speed that he picked up on that clothesline there. An exploder suplex to the much bigger Ridge Holland. Forcing Ridge to roll off to the outside of the ring. And oh got caught Heracle Rana. Woo! See that height that that boy just got up with? This is Heracle Rana. Oh, but it's Ridge able to fight back. Gut wrench power bomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Rich Holland trying to use his brute strength here in this one on one matchup. Deadlifting breaker from the mat into a running power slam. Cover air. One, two, and a kick out. Someone just threw their plan out the window. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Irish whip off the ropes. And the European uppercut. Incredible aggression from Holland. Oh, Braun Breaker easily overpowering him here. Has him up on the shoulders. Gut buster there from Braun Breaker to put this matchup away. Shoulders up. And Braun Breaker having his way. Agonizing. A nice counter there by Ridge Hollins. Ridge hoisted him up. And oh, what a suplex there. Fisherman Driver planting Braun Breaker's head into the canvas. One, two, and oh. The dog face gremlin able to kick out. That could have been it. Deadlifting breaker from the mat. And Ridge Holland's oh! 
And a cutter there on the Braun Breaker to put him away. And the shoulders up at one. And you got to give it to Braun Breaker. Shoulders up at one. Oh, and a vicious clothesline. You see Rich Hollins gripping the back of his head off that impact. And Braun Breaker showing the power yet again. In the corner now. And oh! Nearly cut in half. Over the head, belly to belly. Oh, Braun Breaker setting up for that spear. Looking to cut him in half. Boom! A spear connects there from Braun Breaker. And the badass looking to put Rich Hollins in this matchup away. Up on the shoulders, military press. Into a power slam into the center of the ring. Three. Oh, that's stomping away. Uh oh. And now Braun Breaker showing no remorse. Table being introduced now. Oh, come on. He's got a freaking table. Braun Breaker looking to continue to make an impact here on SmackDown. Put Kevin Owens through a barricade. Now looking to put Rich Hollins through a table after the matchup here. All on the badass. Breaker ramming him right through the table. Spine and back first. Through the table goes Ridge. Braun Breaker laying out another superstar here on SmackDown. And is any stopping the Braun Breaker? Is anybody going to be able to stop this man here on SmackDown? Braun Breaker, truly an imposing figure. And up next here on SmackDown, the almighty Bobby Lashley, the number one contender for the United States champion, as he will meet carrying across the leader of the final testament and those two will go at it in an ambulance matchup for Cross's United States Championship but it's payback time on the mind of the almighty as he looks for revenge on the behalf of Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford who was blindsided and attacked from behind by AOP last week after the attack team victory and this could be a huge advantage here for the Street Profits is next week here on SmackDown. It'll be a steel cage matchup for the Tag Team Championships as the Authors of Pain will defend the WWE Tag Team Championships next week here on Friday Night SmackDown against the Street Profits. Almighty Bobby Lashley. Making his way to the ring. Representing Street Profits from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds. The Almighty Bobby Lashley. This is how you make an entrance. Carrying yourself with the utmost poise and pride. Lashley holds himself to the highest standards. It's propelled him to multiple world titles in main events. For nearly two 
The almighty looking to become almighty United States champion. As Karrion crosses minions, AOP, the tag team champions, alongside Paul Elrin. The Authors of Pain looking to do Karrion Cross's dirty work here tonight on SmackDown. The final testament looking to rule over Friday Night SmackDown. Ruthless aggression is overrated, Sax. Then whatever happened to being ruthful? How come nobody ever uses that word anymore? Can he do what few others have done and overpower the Almighty? No. Yeah, I think I agree with Corey on this one. Bobby Lashley better be ready for this one here tonight. You can see that the and they took off the ramp cam. It's the first time they did it tonight. I thought they weren't going to do it, but I was horribly wrong. Going into this match, switch that think, back. Oh, the relief of not putting your title on the line. And, oh, Lashley with a drop toe hole. With or without the title, full focus is needed. Irish whip off the ropes and the elbow right to the face. Is ready for a fight. Lashley is a direct communicator with Bobby Lashley. The Irish whip off the ropes again. Power slam. Snap power slam from the almighty. Taking out one half of the final testament. Lashley does not have to want to worry about the AOP and that ambulance matchup. And Hoffman looking to soften up one half of AOP. For that tag team steel cage matchup next week against the Street Profits. As Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins will be here next week. As Lashley is all alone here tonight. Oh! You know, Karrion Cross successfully retained his United States Championship. And a mulling beatdown over Axiom. Somewhere watching this matchup very closely. Scouting the almighty clothesline. Akram back in control. And just like that, things are not looking good for Bobby Lashley as he is certainly outnumbered coming into this matchup. Oh! Hooks the leg. Pin here on the Almighty. And a two count. Two count is all he gets there. Akam trying to overpower Lashley yet again. But Bobby Lashley with a back elbow. For someone who finds themselves clashing with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Yeah. Oh, no. Spine buster there by Lashley. Bobby has speed, strength, and stamina. So blitzing him with potent offense and getting an early win is a safer Snap bet. power and slam. Into the cover. Rope break. Pin stops. And Razor putting his tag team partner's hands on the ropes. Counter there by Akam. Oh, uh, Akram, oh, what a gut buster. Oh, the Almighty got caught over the head, belly of the suplex. Oh, complete dead left. This is incredible. Oh, suplex. Cover. Got wrench into the cover for the win. Bobby Lashley certainly has his sights set on victory here tonight. 
And payback. Oh. Oh, running power slam. Pinfall here on Lashley. And that kick out at one. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. Stiff elbow will break that up. Oh, headbutt. Defenses are sharp in this. Spear by Bobby Lashley. Acom trying to roll off to the outside and save himself, but Lashley right on him. As Razor and Paul Elrin watches on on the opposite side of the ring. Oh, Spine Buster was setting up, but no. Straight pushing Lashley into the canvas. Chest goes under the turnbuckle. Out of the turn oh! Oh, that was Lashley and Akum trading shots. And oh, the almighty. Oh, and a shot right to the chest. Oh, Bobby Lashley. And the almighty. I look being distracted right here by Razor. Razor with the distraction on the outside. A single leg takedown. Akum takes advantage out of the distraction. And the numbers game catching up to Bobby Lashley here in this matchup tonight. Lashley, oh! Lashley counters. Hurtlock. Hurtlock sits in. And now swinging around Akum like a rag doll. And Akum, no force, no choice but the tap. Lashley picks up the win. A devastating victory like the power shown. Hurt lock for the win. Oh, Lashley. Risen up. And oh, and a spear. Oh, to be found. And oh, wait a minute. Oh, this doesn't look good for Paul Elwin. Paul Elwin locked in. He hurt lock. Hurt lock locked in on Paul Elwin. Bobby Lashley now with the Hurt Lock locked in. Hurt Lock for everybody. And oh, a big boot. Big boot there by Lashley. Oh, and the almighty. Oh. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. And a spear. Oh, Bobby Lashley with the spear yet again. Now looking to beat the holy hell. Oh, they won't let me, I guess. Oh, man. They still don't give us more time. But Bobby Lashley sending a serious message to the United States champion, Karrion Cross ahead of their ambulance matchup at SummerSlam. Hurt lock for everybody. I cannot wait for that ambulance matchup at SummerSlam between those two. But up next, the arrogant Aussie, Grayson Waller, goes one-on-one -on -one with the prize fighter, Kevin Owens, here on Friday Night SmackDown. And it's next up. As Kevin Owens will take on Logan Paul at SummerSlam.
about to get underway with this match, but what is this guy doing here? Oh, we'd all love to know. You know he's been a long Kevin Owens long can't long seem long. to have a decent one-on-one -on -one matchup without the arrival of the Maverick, Logan Paul. Costing mind games and a distraction here, just like last week. Now I'm going to join us on commentary again, and ain't no telling what Logan Paul plans to do. Maybe you should, like forever. Like retire. Michael. Logan Paul is going to join us at commentary as he sits at ringside for this matchup between Kevin Owens and Grayson Waller. And oh, Grayson Waller with a big boot. Just like last week's matchup there, Kevin Owens. Distracted there by the presence of Grayson Waller. I mean, oh, Logan Paul and the social media megastar getting a bird's eye view of this matchup. Oh, a forearm shot right to the face of Kevin Owens. Off the ropes is Waller and a hard shot there. Kevin Owens would love to get his hands. On Logan Paul here tonight, especially before SummerSlam. The distractions, the hired guns, all that will come to an end at SummerSlam for Logan Paul. As it will be nowhere to run for him. Oh, once he's in a ring with someone like Kevin Owens. And Grayson Waller, shoulder first. I mean, sending them shoulder first into the barricade. And the arrogant Aussies taking advantage. Down to four, back inside of the ring. Kevin Owens with a clothesline. DDT by the prize fighter into a running senton. And it's going to take some focused attacks on Owens to keep him down, isn't it? Oh, short on clothesline by KO. I caught the foot as Waller and an elbow right to the face by Grayson Waller. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, Grayson Waller with the knees right to the face by on the Kevin Owens. Putting the foot to the gut there. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Oh. Now Kevin Owens back up to his feet. Grayson Waller with the kip up. Oh, and these two men going back and forth, trading shots. And Owens, oh, not done yet. Oh, Kevin Owens telling Grayson Waller, come on. Oh. And these two men continuing to trade shots. And oh, Kevin Owens gets the upper hand here. And oh, look, 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 look. Grayson Waller. Oh, Grayson Waller from out. I mean, Logan Paul. Paul from out of nowhere attacking Kevin Owens. Costing Grayson Waller the matchup. And I don't think Waller gives a damn. A cheap shot there by the Maverick, Logan Paul. Blindsiding Kevin Owens. Oh, Grayson Waller is going to get out of dodge. And Kevin Owens right back up to his feet. Owens right back up to his feet. And Grayson Waller heading out of dodge as Kevin Owens looks to beat the living dog shit out of him. Grayson Waller's getting out of dodge. And Logan Paul is in trouble. Oh. Oh, Logan Paul with a German suplex. Probably wasn't the smartest idea for Logan Paul to attack Kevin Owens after his matchup. But Paul's going to set up for something dangerous here. DDT right on the apron. That's the Maverick looking to give Kevin Owens a concussion. Oh, attacking the knee. Not Kevin Owens on. Oh, Kevin Owens setting up for something vicious here. A power bomb onto the steel chair. This 
Texas right forearm. Kevin Owens, oh! Hooked up in a pump handle. Pump handle, neck breaker. Uh, neck breaker! Yes. That was nasty. Just like that, Paul finds a counter. Uh, oh! Back into the hip, toss. hip toss there. Logan Paul. Oh, by the rule of day. He tried to cost Kevin Owens another matchup. Oh, what the hell? Now exiting the crowd, taking full advantage of the no count out stipulation. Pop up power bomb. Pop up power bomb. Onto the floor. Oh man. Oh, Kevin Owens, no. Owens, oh! Body is a weapon. What the sense on? And the Maverick, Logan Paul. Gonna suffer a stunner. Oh, Kevin Owens with vicious intent here. Top rope goes KO. On a swat top bomb from the top rope. Taking flight. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. On a stunner again by Owens. Even in the score with the Maverick Logan Paul. Kevin Owens with two nasty stunners. Ended it all for Logan Paul here tonight as he jumped Kevin Owens from behind. Kevin Owens gets the win over Grayson Waller and certainly gets a statement over to Logan Paul there after that two stunners. SummerSlam can't come any faster for Kevin Owens. But up next in our main event here tonight on SmackDown, and we have breaking news courtesy for Jimmy Uso regarding his matchup against his twin brother, Jay, at SummerSlam in two weeks. As we have now known, that the matchup will be a special guest referee. And the man who will be special guest in that matchup will be none other than the Usos' father, the Hall of Famer, Rikishi. As we're going to have our first ever special guest referee matchup here on the channel. And it's going to be between Jimmy and Jay Uso. And their dad will be refereeing that matchup for those two. As I cannot wait. As I'm hearing that, Rakishi says he's going to call the matchup straight down the middle between his two sons as he does not want to make it about himself and he does not want to be in the middle of it, but it's the only way that he can solve peace between his two sons if he's the special guest referee for their matchup at SummerSlam. News just being broke by Jimmy Uso of the Bloodline. And I wonder how Jay Uso is going to feel about that one. I can't wait the Monday Night Raw to find out Jay's perspective on facing his twin brother in a in a special guest referee matchup where their dad is the guest ref in that matchup. But they're looking to do the bidding for the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns here tonight as Reigns is not here on SmackDown sending his troops to take out the number one contender, Randy Orton. WWE's Apex Predator. Career with 20 of historic wins. Yeah, Randy has every right to rest on his accomplishments, but he hasn't. Kept evolving his game, continuing to grow as a competitor. That's exactly, Michael, why Randy Orton is so dangerous. In fact, you could say that Randy Orton is better now than ever before. Randy Orton putting down Solo. Now looking to put down Jimmy and Solo here tonight as he looks to become a 15-time world champion at SummerSlam when he takes on Roman Reigns for the first ever time in singles action at, on a pay-per-view since their first pay-per-view matchup back at SummerSlam 2015. And I'm sure the Tribal Chief or Roman Reigns or Randy Orton has not forgotten about that. Attacks 
that he creates. Always a threat with the three most dangerous letters in all of sports entertainment. R-K-O. The bloodline has arrived. Their dominance is historic. And their opponent at a combined weight of 501 pounds. Solo Sakura and Jimmy Uso. The bloodline. A faction that has amassed unparalleled power. <laughs> and the bloodline is not afraid to showcase that power. Jimmy and Solo looking to take out the Viper here in our main event. As we're just two weeks away from SummerSlam, you know Jimmy Uso will take on his twin. As a WrestleMania rematch unfolds at the biggest party of the summer. And it will be a special guest referee matchup with their father, Rikishi, being a referee for Jimmy versus Solo. I mean Jimmy versus Jay, part two. Oh, Randy Orton are wasting no time. And oh, the cheap shot there by Solo Sokoa. Solo Sokoa with a cheap shot from behind. Oh, uh, Tequila Sunrise locked in. And targeted Jimmy Uso first. Oh, Orton able to get out of that one, but no, not so fast. Says Jimmy. And it's a tag into the enforcer. Oh, Roman Reigns got to be loving the handiwork. That he has received for the bloodline over the past couple of months. Looking to have him weak down radio in here tonight. Oh, and an elbow right to the face. Oh, or oh, taken down hard with that move. What's the mindset of the side that is outnumbered? You have to find a way to even the odds. And the enforcer, oh, Solo Sokoa beating down on Randy Orton, looking to do a real number on Orton before SummerSlam. The mission here tonight is not, oh, just win the matchup. Make sure Randy Orton is not able to be 100%. And, oh, Solo went for the splash. Randy able to get out of the way. And Jimmy taking off the apron. Oh, and Solo Sokoa, oh, Irish whip into the barricade. Orton, backdrop. Now Randy Owen beating down both members of the bloodline. Oh, both brothers getting this work. Ah, Solo tossing to the barricade again. Randy Owen, oh. Cutting down Jimmy Uso from the apron. Oh, knee right to the face. Solo with the clothesline and the bloodline right back in control of this handicap matchup. Stomping on the back of the head. Pinfall right here on Randy Orton. Oh, but the Apex Predator kicks out at two. Not allowing himself to stay down here in this matchup is Randy Orton. Oh, now Solo Sokoa, oh, dragging him into the corner. And the bloodline working in tandem here. Oh, gut buster. Oh, super kick got caught. Legs got caught in Randy Orton. Oh, what a clothesline. It follows up with another one. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, looking for back. Suplex. Suplex. Oh, Jimmy Uso up. And what goes up must come down. Oh. Solo being knocked off the apron. Clothesline. And the Viper is in his zone here in this two-on-one handicap matchup. Oh. 
Oh, Jimmy has him up onto the shoulders here. Snake eyes. Almost put away radio in there. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Oh. And Sokoa tags back in. Super kick there by the enforcer. Another super kick. Oh, looking for that patented Samoa spike. Or oh, able to count it out of that one. Counters the Samoa spike into the backbreaker. Vintage Randy Orton off the backbreaker to Solo. Off the ropes. Oh! Randy Orton not letting this go off without a hitch. Right on the attack here again on Solo. Busting the street champion wide open. Oh! Jimmy Uso getting beaten up here. Randy Owen, oh, hell bent on beating down the bloodline and clothesline over to the outside. Oh, Samoa drop. Is Randy Owen going to be able to make it to SummerSlam? Oh. Randy Owen with a neck breaker on the floor. Randy Owen's going to welcome Solo Sokoa back in. Edit really him. Oh, Jey Uso back inside of the matchup. But the backbreaker on the outside. And oh, tossing him onto the apron. Randy Owen knows what, what can happen to him here tonight if he doesn't take down the rest of the bloodline before SummerSlam. Solo Sokoa with the upper hand now. Uh, Solo targeting in the arm. On a shot right to the throat there. Oh, Randy with the reversal out of it. Elbow right to the face. Randy Owen with a swinging neck breaker. Elbow drop. Oh. Ain't no telling what's going on in the mind of Randy Owen at the Apex Predator. With that backbreaker. Backbreaker delivered by Orton. He's expressing pain now. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Jimmy Uso is going. Jimmy O counters out of that one into a bulldog. Jimmy trying to make the tag in the solo, and he does. Is he enforced the tag? Didn't, but oh! What a German suplex. Wiped out off the German suplex. Randy with the Luthez press. Oh, vintage Randy Orton here in our main event. Orton looking for that DDT. DDT. Well paying DDT taking out Solo Sokoa. Now, oh, Jimmy Uso targeted here. And Jimmy RKO! Solo coming into the aid of his brother. But Jimmy's out of it. Out of it off the RKO and Solo gets one for his troubles. And oh, pinfall broken up. Pinfall broken up there and Jimmy's going to pay for that. Oh, the body can get. RKO again on the Solo Sokoa. 
two. Champion kicks out. His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. The enforcer of the bloodline able to kick out of some RKOs like it's nothing. Radio is almost taken out of this matchup. Randy doing whatever it can to defeat the bloodline here tonight. Going up to the top rope, but oh, ultimately pays for that decision. Kick out there on Jimmy. And Jimmy Uso taking down Randy Orton. The numbers game catching up to Randy Orton here in the handicap matchup. Oh, Orton trying to battle back. Drop kick. Oh, send solo. Off the apron. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, Randy Orton could care less about the officials count. He has something devastating in mind for the enforcer solo. So call off. Oh, KOs through the announce table. Randy Orton trying to crawl back up to his feet. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Orton back inside of the ring. Oh! Bad idea to taunt. Oh, the enforcer of the bloodline. Solo getting out of harm's way. Randy Orton looking for Old Faithful. Randy with that DDT. Radio and now looking for another RKO to end this handicap matchup. Oh, uppercut. RKO on a Jimmy Uso. Cover right here. Two, three. Radio and survives this handicap matchup. Putting Solo Sokoa through the announce table with an RKO. And finishing off Jimmy with a swift RK. Look at this one on the outside. Bam. Bam. RKO's left and right here in our main event. As Orton survives this two-on-one handicap matchup against Solo and Jimmy. As he officially turns his focus towards Roman Reigns and the undisputed Universal Championship. Can Randy Owen become a 15-time World Champion comes SummerSlam a week from Saturday. Congratulations to the Viper, Randy Orton. Victory here tonight in this main event. A tightly placed, wild, chaotic night here on Monday Night Raw will be the same thing on Raw this coming Monday as the final Raw before SummerSlam. But thank you all for watching Friday Night SmackDown. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great night, everybody. Peace out. Be sure to like and subscribe.